What a gorgeous spot. Oh. Beautiful. Yes. The mountains, the ocean, the lush vegetation. It's beautiful. It's everywhere. And up here. See Jill still in bed? Mm -hmm. What time is it? 7.45? Something like that. Yeah, yeah we, almost. We, yeah, we slept in until 7.30 today, 7 o'clock, somewhere in there. Anyways, Jill's not out of bed because we decided to uh, do something different for breakfast today. And we did some breakfast in bed. Here we go. So, let's explore and see what we ordered because I didn't order it, so I have no idea what I'm getting. So there's coffee and tea there. Uh -huh. And there's toast in the bread basket here. Toast allegedly is in here, tied up. Uh -huh. and I'm not sure what's under there. You'll have to open it up and see. There you go. Ta da! So, that is their, uh, as they call it, the All American breakfast, I believe. Cover that up, keep it warm. Okay. Here's one of the plates that Joe wants to buy, so why doesn't you just order room service every day and take one home? Yeah. No, thank you. I'm not doing that. You're right. Thank that's you. that's what you want, too. You just got to figure out the right. And... Some fresh fruit. Mm, fruit. Fruit, toast, and hot breakfast. Breakfast in bed, room service, all for free from Holland America. And we've got our curtains open to see at the back of the ship, and it looks like we have some mountains, and we are in uh, Amber Cove today. That's the back. So, better weather than the last time we were here several years ago, so. Yes. Okay, well, we're going to have breakfast, and we will uh, you know, likely see us heading off the pier in a little while, as soon as we get ready. There you go, it's St. Patrick's Day, and we're heading off the boat. Okay, our first time getting off the ship at Amber Cove. Yes. Yep. And they have these little, uh, what are they called? Rickshaws? Is that the right name? Oh, I think so. Something like that. I believe they're just, uh, they're no, no fee, but uh, they work for tips only, is my understanding. Oh, beautiful morning here. Actually, perfect temperature right now. Well, we're also in the shade. <laughs> we're in the, the shade. Might be different in a few seconds when we. Yes, ask me in 500 feet when we finish the length of the ship here. Yeah, I'm going to turn it around because uh, this is much better looking than I am. We're about to hit the sunshine. You can hear some music. That is a beautiful spot though. Gorgeous. We thought it was beautiful last time we were here. Just it was covered in cloud and rain and fog. Oh, no, no. Hold on. I have found a weather buoy. Made in Canada, too. Let's take a look at this. Weather is my life. I can't escape it. Even at Amber Cove. Awesome. That's awesome. Jill's awesome. She's right over here. So I'm going to check out these overwater cabanas here. Pretty cool. You can rent those for the day. That's the cabanas. Yeah, I was just showing everybody the cabanas that are over the water. Oh, they look pretty cool. Yeah, the only, the only downside I've heard about them so far is that the water is very, very murky. So like, it's hard to snorkel or even see the bottom. It's pretty, uh, pretty murky just jumping off the deck. But uh, yeah, they look like cute spots for sure. There's some really big something something up on the hill up
it looks like it comes through the duty free. You come to the tour excursion desks where everybody is waiting if you're booked on excursion. Not us today, today is an exploration mission. And we turned right coming out of the duty free. We're following Jill. She knows where she's going. Amber Cove sign, picture off. Oh, I see the pool. And the bar. And the swim up bar. Why well, talk about it when you can show it? I think we found home for a couple hours today. I think I might go like look around the shops before I get in the pool though get back. So that when we're done pool mode I just go back on the ship. Okay. Okay? Do you want me to take the camera and do a little painting? Yeah, it's up to you. I didn't see any shops that excited me, so I'll sit here. Okay, I just left Mr. Canuck at a lounge chair at the pool and I thought I'd go and investigate the other side of this little uh, spot here and look at some of the shops before we got in the water. So while he's relaxing, looking at the mountains and the blue water, I'm going to take you guys for a little shopping experience. I'm not sure if you can hear me over the loud music, but let's see what we can find. Well, Jill stole one of my cameras to go shopping with, so I luckily have a backup. So we are on the GoPro backup camera. Just taking in the views, I see the zip line goes straight over top of me, so I'm not sure that's going to be a good or bad thing. I don't know if you can see those lines or not. There is zip lines up there, there's a bird sitting on one of them. And it goes all the way down over the pool and ends up down the other end there. What a spot. So right here, just as you're getting to the pool area, there's a little area where you can get your hair braided, ladies, if that's something you'd like to do. There's also the Caribbean fish spa. You can get your feet done. Have you ever done that before? Mr. Canuck and I did that in Mexico. It was quite the experience. Oh my god. That's an odd feeling. Come off the ship, you walk through the duty free like you do at most cruise ports, and you come out here. And of course, the first shop you see is Diamond International. This is the shopping area. that was pretty much what I saw in the open air market. I gave you a little tour of that. They have a little bit of everything. There's some uh, unique things that I haven't seen at other ports of call here in Dominican. Um, 
the zodiac signs in glass. That was a, a unique feature I haven't seen. And of course, Dominican loves their baseball, so the different baseball teams all designed and hand painted. That was pretty cool too. Check it out, guys. I just had people say hello. Nobody trying to push me into buying anything. Very nice pressure-free shopping here. So we're back to some of our more traditional shops we're used to seeing at Port Del Sol. So one thing I like to collect on cruises, because it's so hard to take things home and have all over your house, but I like to collect Christmas ornaments from different places that we haven't been to, to try to just have a little something. I like that. I, oh, look at, there's a lobster. Dolphins. Pretty cool ones here. I do like a white dress. Almost at the very far end of the one side, we have some more island treasures, gift shops, t-shirt islands right here, lots of nice hats and t-shirts. Here's the view that you're looking for when you come to Amber Cove, isn't it? Look at this lovely sign, a great photo op area with our beautiful ship in the back. Let's keep exploring. So if you're leaving the port, shopping area, this is where you go. You come out here, very similar to uh, the Cozumel setup. The buses are waiting, there's taxis waiting. You can even rent rental cars. We have a national rental car spot. Alan, you want to spend your day exploring on your own? This here, if you need something from the pharmacy. We've got one right here. area in port. We'll take a nice little walk back. Look at the scenery here. Isn't this pretty for right in a port area? Okay, we are going on a hunt for the, what is it called? The Sky View Bar? If I got that right? The Sky Bar. It's starting to get a little hot here, so we're going to do this now. We'll hike up the hill. Here we go. We are almost up to the Sky Bar. And uh, check that view out. Yeah, we've always talked about possibly retiring in Dominican Republic, and uh, this is why. This is gorgeous here. The stairs to the sky. Hello, you joined me. Just ordered us our first cocktail of the day. What a gorgeous spot. Oh. Beautiful. Yes. The mountains, the ocean, the lush vegetation, it's beautiful, it's everywhere. And up here, what a breeze. It was a little bit of a, I mean, not a bad hike up, but a little bit. You were warm by the time you got here, but just sitting here and letting the breeze blow over you is wonderful already. Yeah, no sense looking at us, because look at that. <laughs> First drink at the Sky Bar. Cheers. Amber Cove, love you. As you can see, this is not a Ryan Coke. Somehow, somehow they have managed to capture the flavor of going out into my front yard with my lawnmower and cutting the grass and chewing up the mint and all the weeds. 
But it's only because we have a lot of wild mint on the edge of our property. So we well, made that association. It tastes like cutting grass in the summer. It is a classic mojito mint. It's, and it's, it's very yummy. Because according to the rules of the water slide, if I don't get down to my cruise weight, I'm not allowed to go on the water slide. I don't know if I've ever seen a weight limit for a water slide before. So it caught my attention. Well worth the stop. Becoming one of my favorite ports already. Well, we're almost back to the pool. Is it warm? Not super warm, no. no. I'm yeah. super warm, so it's cooling me down. One step at a time. The it next one. Go any deeper than this one. The next one's the bad step. Really regretting that I left my floaty tube on board, though. Huh. Yeah. Let's go explore. Is it getting any deeper? Do you think? Yeah, I think so. Once you get, oh yeah, it's getting deeper now. <laughs> oh, it's belly button time. Jill's got her drink. <laughs> How deep does this go? Okay, I just need to drop down in. Oh. Okay, I'm up to my neck. We're under the bridge. It's not even up to his knees. Where are you, sunshine? You've told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I, I ain't a person who understands. All the clockwork of our romance You make me feel so alive Always there in my mind But I just don't know I just don't know Add it, if add, it add it, add it Oh, YouTube thinks that's okay Nope <laughs> Here you go, get sit in your chair You've lost so much weight that you look tiny in chairs now. <laughs> Need it. Okay. That's long <laughs> Pull your shirt down. Five days with no motion sickness on the ship. Joe puts me on the swing. Now I feel like my tummy's flip-flopping. Hmm. Now this looks like it's gonna get me in trouble. What do you think? There it is, kissing booth. <laughs> so a little bit of an update with our, from our friends from Indiana. That they had come through and they had uh, bought a couple bottles of beer right at the entrance. Amber Cove here. It cost them eight dollars a beer, and uh, they walked a couple hundred yards further towards the uh, bar by the pool, and they were five dollars a beer. So don't buy your beer when you get first onto the port. Wait until you get to the pool. They're almost half price. We are back on board from our time at Amber Cove and looking for some lunch. And happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. You can see I've got my green on and uh, off to find some food. Mm, baked potato. Mac and cheese, I see fish. Some fish. Some oh, baked, good. thick French fries, fruit. What a waste of color. Here we got pre-made sandwiches. Little skinny, tiny sandwiches. Make your own salad station. Some spaghetti. Rigatonis. Yeah, and then you put your sauces on them too. For lunch today, <laughs> You're on a I have some... This is just the first part of lunch. Oh, okay. Got some mac and cheese, I believe Beecher's. A little bit of chicken korma I thought I would try out. Oh. And Jill has... I did a uh, 
chicken stir fry at the Asian land area and he put some little chips on it. There's noodles, there's scallions, thank you. All kinds of different things in here and that's, this was their uh, ribs, their pork ribs in the Asian area also. We're gonna give that all a try. Lunch round two for me. A little bit of spinach fizzelli with some white alfredo sauce on top. Mm. Having my salad. Your salad? <laughs> I had considered a hot dog today too, but I'm starting to get full already. The waffle cone. Maybe I'll have a hot dog later. Pizza too. Oh, we're doing something special for dinner later tonight, so you'll find out about that in a few hours. Off to the cabana for now. Meet my ice cream. We have our champagne. Eat our chocolate strawberries. Our grapes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wind blown by the looks of my hair. Yeah, we were on the right side of the ship this afternoon with our cabana. It was a nice shady, low. Technically, the starboard side. <laughs> it's just but the, the way windy side. Yeah, deck like six. The windy side, Muzzadek. Deck, which was lovely. Deck six, Muzzadek. Okay. What papers? So I hope you had a nice day here in uh, Amber Cove, a nice St. Patrick's Day in the other Emerald Isle, because the, the Dominican Republic uh, thinks it's uh, also the Emerald Isle, but then uh, a warmer version. So I uh, hope you enjoyed yourself. Distance to Key West, 682 nautical miles, and uh, we need a speed of about 18 knots or uh, 21 miles per hour to get there on time. On, uh, Saturday morning at uh, seven o'clock, we pick up the pilot there. So we're going to Key West. Uh, for for tomorrow. One of the first all in America to get in there. So I'm going to start the engines, and we should be on the way shortly. <laughs> Turn the keys and start it up. <laughs> Love this, Captain. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everybody. Jill's in green. St. Patrick's Day. I'm in mint, mint green. Yeah. Kind of like my lawn tasting drink. <laughs> if you saw that earlier in the vlog. And yeah, St. Patrick's Day head note, we have a special dinner tonight. We are going to the Pinnacle Grill yes. for a speciality restaurant for a change. And uh, before that, of course, we've got to go find ourselves a cocktail. I believe Jill's got a craving for something up at the Tamarind Bar. We went there, what was it, the second day of the cruise? We haven't been back, but I really enjoyed it. Was, I didn't even order it. It was a sip I had at a Jerry, so I want to try to get my own this time. So there we go. We're going to try that. Okay, see you up there. See if you can guess what I'm going to order. <laughs> It. We must go aft to find the tamarind bar from our oh, sorry. cabin. Well, Jill's going the other direction. Oops. She's back. Wow, someone's got a really strong hair dryer in that room. Mm -hmm. Jealous. Either that or they lent them a vacuum. <laughs> Oh, and I am wearing my skinny pants tonight and uh, can't show you. It's too hot for YouTube. <laughs> so we'll just leave it at that. Maybe you'll see it a little bit later on at some point. Your children are mortified right now. Uh, yes. Because when you look this good, you be lucky if they let me into the restaurant. We'll find out. See, that's why we're not at home. <laughs> no risk of penguins crossing the road here down in the Dominican Republic. It's upside down Thursdays. Sure, let's try 11. We can see Port of Blattis poking out in the distance. I do not see any Norwegian ships stuck aground, so they must be doing better. There's more pizza. You think I'm filming you? I'm filming the bottle of Crown Royal in the background. Oh, are you now? <laughs> yeah, we know what you really like. <laughs> there you Thank go. you. So we're at my favorite bar on the Rotterdam, the Half Moon Bar, and Paula May, our favorite bartender we found, has uh, made me her own cocktail, the Paula May Drop. I'm gonna give it a try. She says it's a little bit sweet, but we'll see. Mmm. It 
it's nice. Very nice. Mm, it's a little sugar rim makes it sweet, but the drink itself, I don't think it's very sweet. Not too sweet, anyway. Bread do we have? We are at the Pinnacle Grill. We've got some specialty breads, beautiful looking rolls. We have got some garlic butter, garlic butter, and uh, roasted, red pepper. We have roasted red pepper sauce. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to the bread already. She mm -hmm. says I can have more too. What'd she say with the cook? She said if the cook's really good and if you eat all the bread, the breads are so delicious, you might be too full, you won't enjoy your dessert if mm. you eat all the bread. <laughs> I'm good with that. <laughs> There you go. This is for your mushroom soup with the scallion of churro, cream fresh, and also truffle oil. Yes, sir. Mushroom it's soup. Delicious. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's still like mountains <laughs> Mushroom soup. More bread. What'd you get? Shrimp cocktail set. She said it has a brandy infused cocktail sauce. This is the candy bacon. Looks delicious. And we'll travel over top of the clothesline. What did you end up with? Uh, crab cakes. Two little crab cakes. And the candy bacon. Who do you think wins this course? Mm -hmm. uh, we finished our appetizers and we were about to have our main course, so I asked the waitress what wine she would recommend. And so, spellbound is what I have here. I have the beef tenderloin with lobster dumplings, mashed potatoes, and asparagus on the side. There we go. I have, I believe, their truffle fries with the halibut, Alaska halibut. Apricot jelly, white chocolate. Some dark chocolate. White chocolate with nuts, nuts and raisins, I believe she said too. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, we are sharing a dessert. And what would you call it? It's a chocolate souffle. How'd you enjoy your pinnacle grilled dinner? It was lovely. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Very filling. I think I ate like eight buns. <laughs> you had a lot of <laughs> a lot of bread. <laughs> that didn't help. I was I was much better than the last time I ate near the bride so that I uh, was able to enjoy my dinner more. I still didn't eat it all though, but mm -hmm. uh, very good. I ate uh, the tenderloin it was delicious and it had came with lobster uh, dumplings on the side of it. And they were a nice little treat. Really enjoyed everything it's I had. A wonderful meal. So now we're Great just service. walking around to see how things look in the evening around the Lido deck and uh, then gonna Head and find some music. See you down there. Moving a little bit. I'm trying to. Are you going the wrong way? Yeah. I think you are. Well, sorry, right? Yeah, we're walking back down the same hole. We went the wrong way. Yeah. Well, we got all three half elevators, not the mid ones. Five days later, I still can't find my room. Back in the room, got some surprises on the bed. Got a couple towel animals. <laughs> I think that is firewood, right? You think? Sure. Okay. Hey, yeah, we've got coasters. We've heard about these before, but never actually seen them. So yeah, we didn't get these on the last cruise, did we? Well, we got a notice say we were going to get them. They had run out of stock and they'd mail them to us. But as of right now, they still haven't arrived at our house. But the funny thing is, is when I look at these, you open these up, 
and it says Holland America Line Cottesdam and New Stundam. It doesn't say Rotterdam, which is the ship we're on right now. Hmm. I mean, yeah, they're still out of them, just giving other ships away now. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, we were on New Stundam at Christmas. That's true. And we didn't get, so now we're just like one cruise behind See, with them. Yeah, these are for the last cruise. Yeah. Well, it's almost 10 o'clock. Yeah, it's a little bit earlier than what we've been doing. Um, mm -hmm. Doing a big dinner today at the Pinnacle Grill to kind of warm me down, made me sleepy, and a big day out in the sun in Amber Cove. Yeah, we had a lovely day. Yes. We did a little bit of uh, walking around the decks after dinner to wear off some. <laughs> Try yeah, to that's right. Yeah, there's a little, little bit. Exercise. You probably saw a little bit of us walking around the Lido at night there. And, and then we went, we, sorry, I was just going to say we went and saw Vanessa and Sean at the BB King Club for their first set. Yeah, they did a great job already. Had the very, very, very first set, they had people up dancing already and, uh, you know, they, they really get everybody into it. We went up and we, we danced a number and uh, mm -hmm. you won't see that. That's way too hot for YouTube, me dancing. But... <laughs> Um, yeah, after that we checked out the Rolling Stone Rock Room, uh, walked around, went to the shops, you know, a little smoky tonight, so we didn't notice at Christmas and New Year's, I guess, because there wasn't smoking inside. At that point in the casinos, mm -hmm. you weren't allowed to smoke because of COVID regulations, so uh, that was lovely, we realize now, because you definitely, yeah, we... uh, the smoke sort of bleeds into the music walk and into the shopping area from yeah. the casino. More, more so deck three than deck two. So we went upstairs, we know it's deck three and yeah. a bit of burning eyes, but uh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's the way it's working. It's probably how it always has been on the ship. We were just kind of spoiled at Fortunate Christmas. Fortunate yeah. not to yeah. have to deal with it. One other little note too, kind of interest for those in the cruise community that follow all the latest news is out of uh, Porta Plata there, the uh, Norwegian Escape was uh, stuck on a sandbar and they uh, got it back into Puerto Plata, sent everybody home. But we noticed today the ship is still there, so I guess it's waiting for, I don't know, further inspections or what repairs or to, to move to a facility. So that was kind of interesting to see the escape off in the distance as we sailed away, parked over in Puerto Plata. So that ship is still there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's you know, funny things you see and hear when you're out uh, following the cruise news. Yeah. But that's it, we're yeah, gonna- we're We uh, think we're gonna have an early night. We were thinking about hitting the booby. Oh. Mainly the boobies. We can't even talk anymore. The BB King be Club again after the comedian. The com it was so packed in that club for the comedian that you couldn't get a seat. You, yeah, there was, was standing crazy. room only. Anyway, so we thought we'd go back for, for the next round, but um, yeah. at this point we're feeling a little bit tired. Yeah, we're falling the tonight. The bed's looking nice and comfortable. Yeah, we might uh, lay in the bed and watch TV sideways. <laughs> yeah, we love this cabin. I, I highly recommend it if you want an inside cabin with a sofa. As long as you're not wanting to spend a lot of time watching TV. No. I turned on a movie today for around five minutes when uh, Mr. Canuck was having a shower and I thought, yeah, no, I don't think I want to do that. Yeah, unless I can find a way to turn the bed sideways. So that might be the next part of the video you see. But if not, that means we fell asleep trying. <laughs> so, okay, we'll call it a night. Thanks for following along and tomorrow is a sea day. So we'll show you all the fun stuff we get up to tomorrow. Probably poke around the ship a little bit more, enjoy some cabana time. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I still have to finish reading. I'm getting down to not much time left to finish reading the Hall in Americas out of the book I borrowed from their library. I've got to get it read before I get off the ship. So I'll be doing some reading tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, and I might be doing my ship tour, poking around the ship. So. Oh, yeah. Okay, good night, everybody. Bye. Bye bye.